Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Sarah, and today we're going to be doing another part of the Every Tiny House is a Different Career Challenge. So today we're actually going to be working on the second part of the gardening career. The first part was the botanist career, the botany section of the gardening career. And so it's over here, you guys can see it over here. And so today over here on this lot, we're actually going to build the house for the floral designer part of the gardening career. And I've already pulled out all of the career rewards that you get with this particular career so that we have them and they're ready to go. And pretty much the only rules that I have for this challenge is that I need to keep it a tier two tiny home and I have to represent the career. So that's basically what we're trying to do today. We're just building a house for a floral designer sim and I think it'll be fun. So I'm going to start out with a circular room, which is usually a mistake in The Sims, but I'm going to go on and put the picture that inspired this build up on the screen where you guys can see it and see what I'm going for because we're actually going to try to build a watering can house today and I have no idea how it's going to go, but I love this picture. I saw it as I was looking for inspiration for the botanist house and I just kind of loved it and I felt like it would make the perfect house for a floral designer sim. So that's what we're going to try to do. Now, the biggest part I'm worried about is actually the, uh, it's not the handle, maybe it's the spout kind of thing. This thing right here, spout maybe. <laughs> um, that's the biggest part that I'm worried about actually making that. So I think I am going to have to use the tool mod to make that. First, I'm going to go on and put a, oh, I don't think I can do that and it still be a tiny house. Oh, I think I've already lost the tier two. Hold on. Hold on, let me back up. I gotta get rid of some tiles. I think we're good. Hold on, I think we're good. That is a very big watering can. Okay, so we do have to have a little tiny roof right here to make it look right. And then up here, we're actually gonna need to grab a roof to make the little handle. Okay, there we go. That's getting better. And that could be the little handle. That looks pretty good. Let's put some paint on it and see if that helps because right now it is an eyesore. Let's see, what color should we do? The inspiration picture is yellow. Should we do yellow? I don't I don't build a lot with yellow, so we can give it a go. That looks kind of good. It doesn't actually look like a watering can. Okay, now we have to get started on the little spout thing. So I'm going to open up the tool mod and... I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of stack these on top of each other. And I am kind of aware that it's this may not look good at all. So I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit each time as well. Okay, so we have this little thing done. It looks like a stack of tires. It doesn't really look like a little watering can spout, but let's see if maybe we can rotate it around and see if it'll look a little bit better. What should we do, about 30 degrees? Oh, no, that's not good at all. Can you not do that? This one may not be one you can rotate. No. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, let's see what other options we have that are yellow. I'm just gonna size that up for reference just in case I forget what a watering can looks like because right now it doesn't look great. Um, let's see, let's see what else we have. We probably are gonna have to go with this dog tunnel which does not match the vibe, but maybe we can make it fun. We also still need something to go on the top because like on this watering can over here, the top looks different. It gets a little bit wider. This one doesn't, so we'll see. We'll see which one we can make work. Or we could use this to make the top part of the spout. Maybe one of these barrels could make the spout. Those look good as well. Let's see if they rotate first though. They do! We could try that! We could try that! Okay, I feel better about it. I feel, I feel good. I'm gonna delete all of those. And right now we're gonna hold off on the little dog thing because, you know, it's not that nice, honestly. <laughs> okay, that's our little starter. It doesn't look great. <sighs> That actually doesn't look bad. I don't feel like that looks bad. I feel like that looks good. Okay, let's try to add it to the house. <gasps> that doesn't look bad, guys. It doesn't. These little things that actually attach to the door, they don't look great, but we'll, we will try to cover that up somehow. We'll cover it up with flowers or something. But look right now, it actually low-key looks like a watering can. Maybe we need to change the wallpaper to something a little bit brighter now because I feel like now it's a little bit off. <gasps> 
Oh, we have this one from the Growing Together pack that looks like kind of like a metal. It's, yeah, it is metal. Hide and sleek metal panels. Oh my goodness, I think that's, I think that's it. And let's see, we probably need to put a roof, or not a roof, but we need to put some fencing up on the top to kind of cover up the fact that that doesn't look great. <laughs> Will it not let me do it? Why won't it go on the top? Maybe I have to copy this again and then use the fence to replace the walls. I guess that's just another thing with curved walls because I don't think normally that would have been a problem. Okay, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. It still needs, it still needs some work. Then for the handles, let's see if we have a yellow option, but maybe this rusty one from, it doesn't really match, but I think that's our best choice. Maybe we could do a different, maybe we could do a green handle. That definitely doesn't match. I think red looks good. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna make these walls go away. I'm actually gonna just take a door. I'm gonna grab one of these, and what you do is you place the door on there, and it makes the wall invisible. And I'm actually just gonna leave them right now. I'm not gonna leave them the whole time. I'm gonna size them down with tool in a little bit, but right now, I, f I like to leave them up for a little while in case I lose them or I need to move them or something like that. I like to leave them to where I can actually find them because it can be hard to find them. I think I'm gonna change the color of this as well to an orange. I think that looks good. Okay, we need to change the this other roof as well. Okay, now I don't feel as good about it. We have this one from Island Living. I actually don't think that looks very orange, but I like the way it looks, so I'm gonna go with that. How did I go up on my tiles again? Because I placed another thing. The fencing is costing me tiles. Okay, we probably need to start working on the actual exterior of the build and give it some love because it could use it. And maybe that would make me feel better about actually finishing this build because right now, right now it's a little bit sad. Okay, now we need a door. Let's see if we can find a yellow or an orange door or something, you know, pretty and flowery. And we could do that. That looks better. Okay, I like that. That's good. That's good. We also need at least one little window. I kind of like this one from Horse Ranch. I mean, nothing's going to look good because these are curved walls. I guess I should actually choose that. <laughs> they really usually don't look good anyway. So let's see if we can make it work. Is that too much? It might be too much. And it does look more like a house, but we need to fix this situation. Okay, I fixed the roof. I fixed the roof situation, but now I want to go and grab some of those seasons hanging things to kind of hang underneath here because the inspiration picture has something like that and I think it will help because even though it's fixed, it's still not great. So I'm going to grab some of those. Like, oh, look at that. That looks so good. And then for the back of the house, I think we're going to cover the back of it with, with trees because I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to work on the back of it anymore. I'm tired. All right, so I think for the interior of the house, I'm gonna do like a little stone walkway or a stone flooring. Okay, and then for the wallpaper, we probably should go with flowers because it's on theme. I think we should probably go with flowers, but I don't love this wallpaper. It's a lot. We may have to change the flooring because that's a lot, but should we do yellow? Yeah, we should. We could do grass interior. I don't know how many people would like that, but we could do that. And then I also want to paint the ceiling with this sky one. Okay, so we got... Oh, does that mess up everything? Round walls, guys. Round walls. I knew as soon as I did it, I was going to regret it. Okay, so we have our inside sorted. We just have to add furniture. But first, I'm going to try to figure out how to landscape around this. All right, and then for the landscaping, I'm gonna kind of try to use this little thing. This is all base game, but I'm gonna try to use this to kind of fit in here a little bit. And just trying to disguise the fact that this isn't well made. <laughs> just trying to hide that fact a little bit. Okay, we got the landscaping done, and that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I just kind of surrounded the house with it to cover up all the issues that the house has so I just tried to hide it and I have trees all around behind it and just don't look at this build from behind that's all I can say it's not very nice back there and then on this little area over here I guess I should put some of this stuff in the house 
Okay, so I have all the career rewards that go inside. I have them inside and we'll figure that out in a little bit. But right now, we're just gonna finish up what we were doing out here, which was to make some flower beds. That's what I wanna do. I'm gonna move the mailbox over here, but I think there's a more flowery mailbox from Get Together. So we'll grab that one. I'm gonna grab that same wooden plank that we used up here. And then I think this is one of those objects that stops functionality, I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm actually gonna build a basement and I'm gonna put, oh, I just deleted it. I'm gonna put this object in the basement and then because I use the tool mod, I'm gonna grab it with tool and I'm gonna elevate it three. So then I'm also going to delete the basement because we don't actually need it and it will mess with our tile count. So I'm gonna delete that and then I'm gonna go up here. I am just gonna copy and paste all of it with tool though because we want it to stay in the basement and when you do that, it considers that it is in the basement. Then your Sims can walk over it and get to their flower bed since that's what we're actually working on. So we do want them to be able to access this area and that's the way we have to do it. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna grab this little dirt and I'm gonna fill in our flower beds. So there we have that one done. And when I go into playtest, I'll open up some of these things you get from the career and we'll just plant some of them. Okay, so there we go. And when we go into live mode, we'll plant those. And so it'll look better because we'll actually put some plants in it. And right now it doesn't look very good, but let's sprinkle some sprinklers around. I feel like I'm getting so excited because I feel like the build's nearly over and I still have to go into the inside. So it's not really, it's not really close to being done, but I think that looks good. So what should we put right here though? We still have one little area because the only things that you actually have to do with the floral designer career is garden and flower arrange. So there's not really anything that we need to put here, but I feel like it needs something because it's looking a little sad over here and I don't want to put more of these. Okay, I feel like that looks good. I'm not totally sure about the pathway, but I think we're gonna go with it because I don't really have any other ideals. So let's go into the interior now. I think I'm gonna delete these because these are a career reward, but I don't really like them if I'm being honest. So I don't think I want them in the house. So I think I'm gonna delete those and then we'll use all the other rewards, but not that one. And I kind of wish I could fit the bathroom in here. We could do it that way. That wouldn't be too bad. That could work. Then that means that the bed is gonna have to go over here in this area. I am gonna do a double bed. Sometimes I can't fit those into these builds, but when I can fit a double bed, that's what I would prefer to use. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Let's see what we have yellow wise. I really like this one and that's what I'm gonna go with. So we're gonna place the bed over here. Okay, we do need some curtains. These are the only windows that we have, so it should be pretty easy. These actually do have flowers on them, but they're green. I don't hate that though. We'll do that. And then we need a bedside table. Kind of like this horse ranch one. That one looks good. Okay, there's the little bedside table. I think that looks good. I feel like we need something right there. So I'm gonna grab this plant from the cats and dogs pack and I'm gonna kinda kind of put it right there and hope that the bed will still be functional. Maybe I'll move the bed just a, just a little bit. So that's our little bedroom area. And then this area, we could make this the flower arranging area. Okay, and we probably need one more little wall art situation over here, but maybe not. Maybe we could do a mirror. And I kind of like this one, honestly. It's a weird placement for a mirror, but I think it's fine. We need something on the wall. I think it's okay. Oh, you know what? We could put the broom from laundry day. We could do that because you would need to sweep up after flower arranging, right? So we could do the broom. I think that looks good. Okay, let's go into the bathroom then. And I don't think we're gonna be able to fit a bathtub in here. I think we're gonna have to go with a shower. But first we'll grab a toilet and it doesn't really matter to me which one. This one's kind of yellow, so we'll grab this one from Cats and Dogs. And then the only other thing we need to add in is the shower. Let's see what options we have for yellow. I think there are some yellow options, but it's gonna be kind of facing the wrong way. Wow, I should have thought about that. <laughs> okay, we can place it, you know what, it's fine. We can place it like that and then we can just move the sink. 
all right the bathroom's done so now we just have one more floor we have a bedroom we have a bathroom so now we just need a kitchen for sure and possibly a living room i think we can fit a kitchen and a dining and a living room this this house is actually pretty big okay the kitchen's gonna go right here because we got to cover this up a little bit okay and i'm not gonna add any clutter to this counter because it's our only counter so i don't want to ruin it and then we can also do another broom we did that upstairs but we can we can do it again it's fine mm, i feel like this is when it's gonna look weird it's gonna take up the whole um house <laughs> basically so i feel like we should probably change that to something a little bit smaller maybe this one from spa day kind of matches the counter a little bit so we'll do that one and then all that we have left is a quick living room so let's grab a tv i'm gonna grab this big one because money is not an issue for this particular build so i'm gonna get this one and then we need a couch we need something fun which this is actually fun but this one from city living it's a little grungy i think it's used but i kind of like it i kind of like how it fits in so i'm actually going to delete this chair and then i'll put the couch like right here in the middle of the house and then we'll we can back this up to the couch like that and i think that works now we need an accent table or something we need something underneath the tv that's cute we might need a rug i think we need a rug in the kitchen area not in the kitchen in the living room which to be fair it's kind of the same thing but i think we need another rug what do we think about that it's not great but i think it's gonna be functional i have to play test it but i think that's it i think that's our floral designer's house this one did not turn out as well as the other ones but I still kind of like it, honestly. You know what? It was a challenge, and I think if I had done this as a speed build, I would not have shared it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys liked the way the outside turned out, maybe at least. But I think I'm going to call it a day for this build because I am tired, and it's not great, but it's it could be worse. So I think it worked out. Thanks so much for watching though guys and hanging out with me today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and hopefully I will talk to you guys soon with another video. But until then, I hope you all are doing really, really well. Bye guys.